Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden, and in this video we're going to take a look at the Synchron Piano, the Yamaha CFX. Now this particular preset is called the Concert Room Mix. And if we go to the Room Mic presets, you see we have seven different presets. And the effect of the presets controls what mic positions are being activated as well as other parameters that are available. And in this particular one, we see we have a room mix close one and mid one mics that are actually being used. Now let's go to a different preset, the next one in the room mix presets, number two, the intimate room mix. And you see that we're using the room mix and the close one with these volume levels here. And we have a little bit of EQing going on for the room mix mic. And we also have a little bit of EQing going on for the close, which gives us this kind of sound. And let's take a look at the next preset. We have the player room mix. And if we look at the mic positions, we have the room mix close one and mid one. And these mic positions are all included in the standard version. In the standard version, you also get the main and main centered, which are the decatry mics, and also the other presets, we have 10 all together. So you get five in the standard version. And then in the extended or full version, you get the close to mid to, as well as the surround mics, the surround high and high surround. So let's listen to the player room. This is the sound you would get if you were sitting in front of the piano and playing it. Now let's take a look at the interface once again. Notice we have, in this preset, we have uh, minus DPs, dBs of reverb, and this is algorithmic reverb, which is added into, into a, the additional reverb you would get with the mics themselves, the natural reverb. So you have a combination of natural reverb and uh, algorithmic, which you can adjust. This is the overall volume. And also we have MIDI sensitivity, pedal noise. And if you have the hardware for it, you have half pedal capabilities, as well as um, timber shift. You have the sympathetic response, primarily for the close mics. And uh, you also have body parameters, which are adjustable, as well as octave and semitone for transposing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next preset the pop room and in the pop room you'll notice if we go back that we have MIDI sensitivity of 50 so this is going to give you a much louder performance based on what you're playing so let's uh, listen to this
So let's take a look at the ambience room mix. So if you look at the mic settings, we have room mix close, one and mid. And that would sound like this. And then looking at the next preset, the Mighty Room Mix. And then unique to the Yamaha CFX, we have the Concert Centered Room Mix preset. And then, then we enter into the Decatree multi-mic presets. So we're going to get main and main centered. So let's take a look at the concert Decatree. So you see we have both the main and main centered, as well as the close one and mid one. Again, these are all in the standard edition. And then we have the intimate decatry. And then moving along here is the player deca tree. So again, from the perspective of a player in front of the piano. And the pop deca tree again, the MIDI sensitivity, if you look at the preset, it's been adjusted to 50, which we can increase or decrease. But again, it will be, it's designed for pop music, so it'll be a little bit more punchy. And then we have the ambience decatry.
and then the Mighty Decatree. And the Mighty Decatree, actually, if you take a look at the uh, delay parameters in the different mics, the close one, we have um, no delay. We have minus six on the algorithmic delay. On mid one, notice we have a delay of 50 and no algorithmic reverb. And then on the main, we have 150 delay and no algorithmic reverb. And so that sounds like this. Okay, then we have the, again, the preset unique to the Yamaha CFX, the Concert Center Decretary. And if you look at the mic positions, we see we have the close mid one, main and main center. And then going to the next preset, we now enter into the surround presets, and these are only available in the full version. So we have a concert surround with stereo. And so now we see we have the high surround added to the mic positions. <laughs> Not only that, we have the mid two, which is unique to the full version, and also the close two, which is unique to the full version. And then we have the intimate surround to stereo. And then we have the player surround to stereo. And then the pop surround to stereo. So again, we have the high MIDI sensitivity. And then the ambient surround to stereo. So you see what an amazing difference the different mic positions make, the fullness, uh, the, the emphasizing of different frequencies. For example, right now we have quite a few different mic positions engaged and we can add to those or we can make our own presets. Suppose I take off the decatries. Raise up the mid two a little bit. So you see quite the difference there. Maybe I want to add in the close one. And add in a little bit of uh, surround.
So you can custom tailor the presets to your taste. And once you've done that, then you can go to the user tab and you can save your preset. Just give it a name. OK. And then it's available to you at a later date, whatever configuration that you just made. So that's a very nice feature. Let's take a look at, actually, let's go back to the surround. And here's the Mighty Surround of Stereo. And also we have the Concert Centered, again unique to the Yamaha. And so those are the factory presets that come with, with the piano. Now, if we take a look at some of the alterations to them, for example, the main mic, as you can see, this area here has an EQ on it. Okay, and these are the various parameters. You can select different nodes, and if you want, you can add your own parameters. So that's node 2, so it activates it. I could add a little bit more high end and change the filter type. Get a little bit more sparkle in the upper range. And some of the other things that you can tweak. Well, we looked at the delay. Here you have 18, 18 for those two mic positions, and 30 for these. It gives you a little bit more ambience. And also, they've used a little bit of delay in the uh, room mix. But you can also go into the edit menu and by Pulling down the command key and, and with the mouse, just dragging it through, I can select several octaves or the entire keyboard range if I want. And then I can add more volume to that particular keyboard range by simply moving those up. That would increase the volume. You can see the note volume right here going up. By holding down the command key and clicking, clicking in this region, I reset it. I can go to dynamic range and I can lower it. You know, so note dynamic range is decreasing here. And then again, command click and that region resets it to the initial value and then I, we can actually go into tuning. I could tune this specific range here just by dragging up. Of course you normally would, if you're going to tune it, you'd tune the whole range, which you can do. If I reset it, command click, and then if I extend, hold down the command key and extend the range, I can tune the entire piano up by 100 cents or down negative 100. So you can tune it to a, say, a recording that's slightly a bit altered. And not only that, you can, if I reset, command, click in the region. And then if I hit the Alt key, I can deselect everything. You can actually change these three parameters, volume, dynamic range, and tuning by selecting a particular note, 
So that would increase the note tuning, for example. Or you could go to dynamic range and note by note, I can lower the dynamic range for any group of notes I want on a key by key basis. So you have an extreme amount of control. So I'll just select that region, command click, reset everything back to normal. So there you have it, all the mic positions, 10 all together. And then all the various control that you have and easily accessible. So that pretty much concludes the, the look at the Yamaha CFX. So Bill McFadden signing off.